Dayton, Ohio is a great place to bike. The city was recently named a bronze level bike friendly city by the League of American Bicyclists. And the city has plans to be platinum by 2020. In other words, get ready to discover some awesome bike trails along Dayton's rivers and a number of bike lanes and sharrows that get you to and through the city. This video reviews the basics of the Rec Bikes program, important information about biking safely, how to handle damaged bikes and bike accidents, and finally some popular bike destinations and how to navigate. The Rec Bikes program was developed collaboratively by student development, campus recreation, and the 2012 cohort of River Stewards. The goal of the program is to encourage students to discover Dayton and its bikeways while getting some exercise and enjoying time with friends. Use of the Rec Bikes goes like this. Students may check out a bike from the RecFlex equipment desk during daylight hours when the RecFlex is open and the weather conditions are safe for biking. On his or her first time checking out a bike, the student must watch this short video and fill out the required forms. The video is not required for any subsequent uses of the rec bikes. Once completing your forms, you'll be given a bike, helmet, lock, and map. All items other than the map must be returned the same day in the same condition as you received them. To make sure your bike is the proper size, stand over it to make sure you can stand comfortably, flat-footed as shown. To make sure your seat is at the right height, your leg should be slightly bent when the pedal is at its lowest position as shown. You may adjust the seat by opening the quick-release latch on your seat post. Unlatch the lever, hold the bolt on the other side, then loosen. Adjust your seat to the desired height, then reverse your steps to relatch the quick-release. If the lever will not close, you need to slightly loosen the bolt. Check to make sure the tires are firm and well pumped. Finally, check the front and rear brakes and take the bike for a quick ride in the parking lot. If anything is wrong, ask the worker at the equipment desk for help or for a different bike. Some basics to remember in case you haven't ridden a bike since elementary school. When you brake, use both brakes. Using just the front brake, your left hand, can cause you to flip the bike forwards and crash. When you shift, make sure you're pedaling gently, not pumping with any significant force. Lower number gears make it easier to pedal uphill, but remember to shift before you're on the hill. Let's review what's on the handlebars. In your right hand, you twist to shift your rear derailleur, making it easier or harder to pedal. You will use this shifter the majority of the time. Also in your right hand is your rear brake. On the left side, you can twist to control the front derailleur. You will rarely use this one. In your left hand is also your front brake. And finally, your bell. The most important thing to remember on roads is to ride predictably and obey all traffic rules. Ride in the right tire track of cars, leaving some space between you and the curb. The back of your bike map further explains the most dangerous scenarios and intersections. Be sure to check it before hitting the road. It is extremely important to lock your bike if you are going to leave it out of your sight. Remember, if the bike is stolen, you are responsible. Your helmet should fit tightly on your head. There should be room for no more than two fingers between your chin and the strap. Be sure to make adjustments so that your helmet fits correctly. If your bike breaks or is damaged, it is your responsibility to find a way back to campus. Do not ride the bike if it is broken in any way. Walk the bike back if you are near campus, or if you are further away, you may have to call a friend to pick you up. You can remove the front wheel if you need to fit the bike in a small car. 
First, release the front brake. Then, loosen the quick release. Now you can remove the front wheel. Now you're ready to leave the Rectplex. Make sure you've mapped out where you're going and looked at the bike map to see if the route is safe. The map rates streets and trails based on traffic and bike friendliness. Try to stay on roads and trails marked novice, bike lane, or shared use path. The shared use paths are the best places to bike and are mainly found along the rivers. If you want some help getting to the bike path, keep watching this video. If you're ready to go, proceed to the equipment desk to get your bike. Thanks for watching and welcome to the Rec Bikes program. Be sure to let us know if you have ideas for improving the program. We want your feedback. Now get out there and discover Dayton. the Rectplex, head on to Stone Mill, right past Kettering Labs, and continue on Stone Mill. You reach Frerichs, take a right. Continue around the bend until you hit Brown Street. When you arrive at the Brown Street and Caldwell intersection, you might have to hit the crosswalk button to make the light change. From here, we're going to cross Brown Street onto Caldwell and past the College Park Center heading towards the river. At the end of Caldwell, you'll arrive at Main Street. At this traffic light, you are going to take a right. But if you're not comfortable riding on the road, you can take the street straight across and you'll meet back up with our path here in a minute. Continue on to Main Street and carefully make your way into the first left turn lane. You're going to be turning left onto River Park Drive just before Universal One Credit Union.
On your left, you'll pass Old River Park, recently acquired by UD. And on the right is the site of the new GE Aviation Building. Now we've arrived at the River Park and Patterson intersection. Again, you might have to hit the crosswalk button to get the light to change if there are no cars in your lane. From here, we cross Patterson and we're on the bike path. If we turn right, as these students have, we head towards downtown. To the left is south on the Great Miami River, where you'll find Carillon Park, Miamisburg, and many other sites in between. 